something very, something very few about them. How my journey through Nollywood with Muji Olaya. Multiple, a lot of people will maybe video and you know the way I took this and people, people were asking. People, because a lot of people want more, but more clothes, more anybody, especially females in the industry. So they were very shocked to find out that why, what's happening to her? Papa is not usually like this. So many people have passed on. But I'll tell you why, and this is why. Uh, in Nollywood, if we want to be truthful with a lot of my colleagues who are here, as a female, especially as a female, I can only speak as a female, not as a male. It is not easy. There is a lot of water, there is a lot of blocks, distractions, forces to fight with. I am standing here to tell you that I went through that myself when I joined Nollywood as a fresh man, as you would call it. When I came into that place as a fresh man, I struggled a lot, especially because of my natural character. I'm not a naturally warm person. I'm scared to have friends. If we want to talk about it, we don't know. We have an opportunity to meet with me. We know that naturally, I am not this person. You come very warm, and I'm warm up to everybody. But when I came, in the midst of the struggle for me going through Nollywood, Moji was different. She was so different. The first time I met her, she was complete. She's the only. Nollywood actress I've ever personally introduced to my mom. I would be the first person that would actually personally come and know where I live and visit me. And we will visit one another. So this is why. Kolomba Afuriji. Awomoti Muji Fisile. Because Ashebai, 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 Bubuwa. Bubu promises that make. It is only God that can make it stand. And my last meeting with her, come on, Jackie, or George Gino, or Dun, or Gino, Sira Dara, Dara, and if you read some, and the Kuni was on the area of religion. Myself and Moji used to attend a particular Christian gathering together, and our mom in Lagos. And the pastor knew us personally. I didn't first hear that she converted to Islam. It was this pastor that called me. I said, ah, all right, what is the Muslim? The pastor went on and on. And the day I met Moji, and of course, I was eager to meet and ask about this area of religion. And one thing I can say is I want to give God the glory for our life. Because my meeting with her that day changed my perception about religion. Today, I am more warmer to anybody and I respect your decision on any religion, thanks to Moji Olaya. She took it upon herself to sit me down and educate me and let the Holy Spirit, as we would say in Christianity, minister to me through her about the way we do not love ourselves when, and the way we tarnish and, you know, me, Mama the way we sort of condemn ourselves because of religion. And I thank God for that day. And I give God the glory for our life. Even if it's touched that, that my soul has been won over by what she did that day, heaven will be a portion in the name of Jesus. Let us learn. It's a difficult loss. I know a lot of us, and especially the family, have not gotten over it. And only God can console them. But in Gokomba Shelly, and this is the lesson I've been trying to learn through this painful death. When something negative in the human form happens, let's try and take positivity out of it and strength out of it. And what are those lessons that we should learn from late Buji Olaya? I tell people that even in death, she's still ministering and preaching, even in death. What will people say about us when we die? Everybody's coming and gathering. For me to come all the way from Scotland and come here, I'm not that kind of a person that would do that. Even in death, she's in ministry to people. And I've looked at my life. What will people say if I die? God forbid. Anybody can go. 
at any time. But what will people say about me? What legacy am I leaving? People are coming and they are saying, I met her one time, I met her. There's so many Nollywood people, God forgive their sins, have passed on. People are still saying things. Go on social media. People are still sharing Moji's legacy. They are still sharing. Why? Something positive must have happened through that life. What will people say after we have gone? Because we will go. When we will go, we do not know. How we will go, we do not know. And that is the lesson I have decided to take upon myself to learn. One of these lessons. When you die, will people gather like this because of me? I have to gather many pray and amend my ways and look beyond my character, look beyond my religion, look beyond my belief and do what is right by God, by myself, by my children and by the legacy I leave. Thank you so much. Bye.